Wasabi YouTube, we are back with another card video. I got more ComC cards. I know, I said I was done, but I forgot I got more. <laughs> and I got some other stuff in the mail and giveaways. So please subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Leave me some comments. I love them things. I respond or react to everybody. And giveaway clues and options are going to be sprinkled in throughout the video. So you're going to have to watch the whole thing, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to see the numbers drop off right there. People are going to be like, what? Orange Piccolo. Funko. I got this shipped to my door with tax and shipping and everything included for $6. Yeah. Um, they lost money on that deal. But, you know, you find deals on eBay sometimes and auctions don't go for what they're supposed to and if they're a good seller, they'll honor it because that's the risk they take. In my opinion, some people cancel things, but um, yeah, usually not not good eBayers. Just the, the new guys that get upset. All right, so first thing you gotta do to win cards is tell me if you want a Halloween sticker. Because I got a bunch of Halloween stickers from Sheen. I started using this thing called Sheen where you get like super cheap stuff. And I got all these stickers for like $1.50 a piece. Not like a piece sticker wise, but like $1.50 for all the Dragon Balls and then like $1.50 for all the pumpkin ones, Halloween ones. So yeah, if you really want, you can tell me a character or something you saw you liked, such as Goku, or I actually bought some of these individually because <laughs> I didn't realize you could get like all of them on Sheen for like $1.50, but um, yeah, in the past. But now I know, this one specifically, I bought this one for like 10 cents and they shipped it to me from Japan in an envelope, but I gotta go to all these on Sheen. A lot of things a lot cheaper on Sheen than they are other places if you if you look it's some piccolo and nail and marijuana brawly for some reason <laughs> somebody's gonna want the marijuana brawly though while well, you can eat buffet gokus all right so we'll get into i think this is like the last this is the giveaway stuff here and then this is just like the last bit of i think it might be mostly stuff i listed on com c and just needed to pull off, but I didn't have enough money to do that. Um, this one I actually bought on ComC and had graded through ComC. I was hoping for a better grade, but it's still okay for how low numbered it is, which I forgot to do it beforehand. Out of five, two of five, the Honey Badger. Nice card there. This one I had graded. I sent it in and had it graded. Some Yui. Uh, this one I bought and then on eBay and then sent it over to ComC and now I have it again. <laughs> so it's not getting much traffic there on ComC. So I figured I might as well just pull it off and keep it. Um, Orange Fishing Drill Ultra Rare. My kid had to come in here and beg me for Poppy Playtime Volume 3 on PlayStation 5. So, I had to make a deal with him. Vegeta. All these little receipts in here. I usually pull them out beforehand. It's kind of easy if you group them together. You can kind of just rip them all out. But we'll just roll. We'll just roll. Finn. Time Regulator Vegeta, ungraded. Demon God, some Yui Gravity Magic, um, Maji Boo. I was gonna grade this one, but I don't think it'll grade well, so I kinda don't want to. But it's an Ottinger rookie out of only 100. But the black edges, you can see there. They got some chipping, that wouldn't be a big deal if this was a white card, you probably wouldn't even notice it. But. Yeah, black edges make it so they don't grade as well. 
And for seeing darkness, Vegeta, lots of Dragon Ball in here, some Tree of Might. Yeah, Dragon Ball stopped doing well on Com C, so I took it all off. Might as well sell it through eBay because that's the only way it seems to sell on Com C is through eBay. Metacula, Piccolos, and oh yeah, I bought this one from my homie Steve. Good old Princess Leia. A Jeff Malone autograph on the bullets. Oh yeah, I bought this one from him too. Nolan Ryan, look at that. Dope, old school. And we got some old school vintage Dragon Ball here. Some Gokus and Piccolos and Yajirobe. Um, Super Saiyan Goku, Final Sacrifice. Nice looking one. More vintage. Panini. Panini did Dragon Ball for a couple years. Majin Buu. Kamikaze Ghost. I was going to grade this one, but um, so I was going to send it to CGC because they started grading these now. But I sent one, and then I've also seen on eBay people trying to sell them after they sent them to CGC. And they're really harsh because of the black borders and the easily scratched foils, they mark them down to like fives. But no, that's like how they are out of the pack. Those are like eights. So if you go and grade these with SGC or Beckett or um, PSA, they know better from the examples that I've seen and they'll actually give something like this an eight because it, it looks decent. But if I sent this same card to CGC, I'm probably gonna get a five. <laughs> so yeah which has made some um, nice buying opportunities, but not, not so much for selling. It seems in the Dragon Ball world, people would rather have either it be perfect or raw. They don't, they don't want anything in between. And I think that's how it is probably with a lot of cards, but even to a greater extent with Dragon Ball. It's like, it's flawless or it's garbage. It shouldn't be graded. <laughs> so. Oh, this is a Chainsaw Man. Some Weiss cards. Weiss. I love these uh, Janimba cards. That's one of my favorite Dragon Ball Super cards. Looks super dope. Got a wafer. Comes with... Comes in a wafer cracker pack or something in Japan. It's like acetate. Piccolo's. Draymonts. No one wants Draymond anymore for some reason, but he was hot for a minute. He died off. But so did the entire card market. So. Wow, I haven't seen this card in person. I don't know, ever? It's pretty dope. Piccolo. It's one of my um, first hits out of Dragon Ball, which really got me into Dragon Ball Super cards, because I just love this uh, King Piccolo card. Super dope looking. I don't like how it has all the words on it, but the artwork is cool. Oh yeah, Michael Irvin. Let's send that one to Justin. Draymond Cracked Ice. I love that card too. It's another one. Just got a little too much wording on it, but the artwork is super dope. So I like that one. It's got the same amount of wording, but it doesn't interfere with the picture much, so it looks good. Wafer Piccolo. Let's see what the back looks like, because that's kind of unique. Tony Romo. Another wafer card. Some lots of repeats. Ooh, Majin Vegeta. Nice. Tatini. Oh yeah, I was gonna grade this one. But again, I was worried. I didn't know if CGC would treat it nice or not. Probably not, because it's got some lightning down here. 
King Kai. Abra. I think Mr. 95 Cent sent me this one. And I sent it to Com C and I was like, wait, I want it back. <laughs> now there's an Audi. Shake Ottinger out of 99. The Otter. Nice. Uh, Jared Goff. Put the Goff in the giveaway pile. That one's still in the package, but that's a wafer card. And I got this receipt taped to it for some reason. Why the heck? Why the heck? I just needed to do that. Somebody is being weird. I really just really like this card. We must protect it at all costs. That's cool looking. Yu Yu Hakusho. Ooh, the Lugia EX. That's a dope one. I'm surprised this one doesn't sell for a bunch of money. That's a cool looking card. And a random Matrix. The Matrix movie, yep, yeah, with Keanu. Had a card set with tops. Basketball. It's kind of cool. I mean, that's common nowadays where they got like Tops X and they partner with all kinds of stuff now. That was rare back then. That's cool. I mean, besides Space Jam, I can't really think of any other movies that like partnered with cards like that. All right, I'll clean this up. All right, giveaways. So do what I said with the sticker comment and then send me your address and your request on Instagram or my email, which is in my about section. If you have any issues, let me know um, in the comments and I'll just put my email there for you. And yeah, I'll shoot you a card in the mail. So your first option is the Goth Crack Dice. And I got the Royal Guards here. Imperial Royal Guards. Star Wars. I got a Leonard Fournette out of 75. Gold Honors card. Tyrod Taylor out of 100 rookie card. Quarterback. Um, I got some magic cards for some reason and some Marvel cards. Oh, I put these as freebies in with this and somebody bought this Kawhi from me on eBay and it came back in the mail. Um, I don't remember. I think I refunded them because they wrote me and said it never came, but they changed their address is what it said and didn't update it. So there's no place to forward it to. Which is, I've been seeing that more and more now on eBay. People buy things and then it gets returned. They don't even put a forwarding address. I guess. Trying to avoid the bill collectors or something. <laughs> uh, I got a whole stack of Akora cards here that somebody sent me. Um, with Oh yeah, they sent it to me with that orange Piccolo Funko I showed at the beginning of the video. So if you want those, let me know. Uh, Jameis Winston, I got a red and a blue out of 99 and out of 149. So... Let me know which color you like. Don't uh, claim both of them. That's not nice. Um, Drysdale. Cool. I mean, if no one else claims both of them, I might, I might send you both of them. But give, some, give people chances first. Yeah, you can't write me and say I claim all of them. <laughs> Just claim, claim one you really like at least. Or two or three. It's fine. Quincy Patterson, Inc. I actually bought this because I was going to send it to uh, Julie Farnham, but um, online it said he was a Buffalo player, but he's not, So and he never was, so I don't know why that popped up, but I bought it by mistake because I had some bad information. All right, y'all. Well, hopefully you enjoyed my boring video. <laughs> I got... Um, this I might rip I don't know I've already ripped one of these on the channel before but I, I got it really cheap and they're going for even cheaper now I mean you can get these for like 50 bucks now if you're lucky all right y'all peace